You know, you're not a bad parent because your child loses their sense of connection. We all lose our sense of connection several times every day. And some children who've had very difficult things happen to them have a very difficult time feeling safe at all. It's like the, the, a sense of connection is not easy for them to gain and it's not easy for them to, to hold because of the amount of um, really difficult feelings from deeply difficult times uh, that they have not yet been able to process. And so when, when a child has been hurt, what happens is that the hurt goes in and unless parent, people are using parenting by connection, listening tools in infancy and early childhood, um, they don't know how to allow the hurt to heal. So we're going to talk about that process in a minute. But So children store that hurt and the longer the hurt stays stored, the more brain power it takes to manage the hurt, to keep it from popping out. So children are using a good part of their intelligence trying to keep feelings in place so their parents still approve of them. Because they figured out by the time they're three months old that every time they cry, their parents get all upset and start patting and rocking and putting them on the dryer and turning on the dryer, taking them for a ride in the stroller. It's like the parents get frantic every time they try to express the feelings and heal the feelings. So children have to manage it all in order to be acceptable in their families. And that takes a tremendous amount of mental energy. A tremendous amount of intelligence has to be invested in looking okay while you're carrying a lot of feelings in your emotional backpack. So what we're going to do is teach you how to free that intelligence so your child's behavior becomes more like their real self and less like you know a child who's really having to protect themselves against change against transitions against um, all kinds of things that they you know that, that they don't want to have to feel what breaks a child's sense of connection um, in early infancy it doesn't take much you know you can be cooing and changing a child's diaper and you turn around you know you put them safely back in their crib you have a really nice thing going with them you turn around and you go to wash your hands if they burst into tears that's a sign that they lost their sense of connection, that it was too abrupt. They were hoping they could be with you for another half hour like that. And your, your sudden departure, although you didn't really go anywhere, you know, um, kicked up feelings or installed some feelings of, oh my gosh, where's my person? You know, who's keeping me safe now? Um, difficult early times can install a, a lot of feelings um, that get all balled up in there and that interfere with a sense of connection and a sense of safety. A difficult birth, um, needing to be suctioned out when you're, you know, when you're getting born, have, getting stuck in the birth canal. Um, any kind of fear that your mother went through while you were pregnant, while you were in utero. They did a study on mothers who were in Manhattan and pregnant during the 9-11 tragedy. And clearly, you would have had to be a very exceptional person not to be going through terrible trauma during that time, even if you weren't directly involved. It was all happening in front of you. And what they found was the babies who were born of mothers pregnant, you know, right around that time, had a much higher percentage of them diagnosed as um, post-traumatic stress syndrome babies. They weren't directly exposed to the whole thing, but they heard their moms, they heard the tones, um, they, were, they, they felt the fear hormones cursing through, coursing through the, the mother's body, and they got scared. You know, they didn't know what they were scared of, but they got scared. So any kind of medical trauma, um, any kind of accident, any absence of a parent, any kind of being put in, put someplace else after you're born into a nursery or into intensive care and being separated from your parent. All these things are very, very hard on a baby's system. 